Welcome to the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. And who's that all the way over there in Canada? That would be Kevin. Oh my God. Hey. It worked. It worked. He, you can hear us. <laughs> and we have a pause, too. Look at that. Not enough, but sure. Kevin, <laughs> our fan, who's now not a fan. Welcome. Now he's a member of the staff. No, we have no fans left. Welcome. <laughs> now you see the you're, you're seeing inside point. us. He's seeing inside us now. This is how it all works. Yeah, he's now he sees our faces. He's like, uh, un- unsubscribe. Mm. Well, he's, he's seen half our faces. Oh, that's true. That. that is true. <laughs> how you doing, Kevin? Doing good. Thanks for the invitation. Appreciate the uh, chance to uh, contribute to whatever this is. <laughs> whatever yeah, this sorry, is. Sorry we couldn't get you on sooner because originally you wanted to come on for, uh, what, were, what were the two other movies that we did that you wanted to come on for? That was... Um, uh, I the, think it was uh, Fast Times. Fast Times was one, and then there was another one. I forget what the other one the was. Wall. The Wall. That's oh. right, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, The Wall. That's all right. I didn't want to see The Wall anyway. To press the hell yeah. Yeah. The Wall wasn't good. <laughs> the Wall anyway. was just, it's yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> no. and, and it's just like, what? <laughs> That's basically what it is. <laughs> Bob Geldof moping. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the mini here. Yeah, right? we're going to do a mini, just talk about things that we watched or didn't watch or don't recommend or whatever this week. We still haven't come up with a word for a non recommendation, <laughs> but we're we're still trying to think of one. Who wants to start, Brian? You got anything? You never have anything. I Good. do, but I I got to remember. Uh, I, How does he I, never remember I, anything? Oh, I finished a uh, uh, Winks. Winks. Remember, I talked about that one last week. Yes. Uh, I, I think, I think. Fate, winks. Fate winks. Oh, and I the the uh, the imperfects that I wasn't sure if I was going to. Oh, that was that weird uh, one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do recommend that. That, that oh, got it all, picked up. Yeah, it got okay. good. All right. Now, when you say it got good, did it get one hundred good or did it get? No, oh no, it's not as good as one. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as the one hundred. That's awesome. No. Um, I watched. Uh, I started watching Lego Master Season 4. Oh, I started watching that as well. <laughs> okay. So good. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. it. I don't know. Kevin, any interest in that? Lego Masters? Do you get that there? I don't know. Do you get things we, we get? get it. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a major network thing. But, uh, Fox, you know, yeah. I get it enough to uh, not watch it. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. It's not must-see TV. It's actually, Michelle and I noticed the other day, it's the only thing we watch on network TV anymore. Yeah. Because it's on Fox, Fox, maybe. Yep. But whatever. Will Arnett. I watch it on Hulu. And- <laughs> and they built a bunch of. They, they did, built uh, some really outrageous. They did Legos, spaceships yeah. this week, so they all had a. They had a connected to a. Um, yeah, just that one connector, a, block. like a yeah. like a international space station looking thing, like a long thing. They all oh. had to connect onto there. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was fun. I thought, and and uh, they had a real astronaut. They had a person the on brother the brother and sister. I thought there. they were going to let them stay for a second. I was there. shocked. I was like, they, they did the. You got voted off the first week thing. Yeah, they usually say, they, they usually, usually keep like, the person. Ah, just kidding. Everybody gets to stay for one more week, but not this Come time. Come back, but you better straighten up and be, be better next week, you know? Um, so anyway. I started a show on Hulu this week called The the Reboot. The Reboot. And it's uh, three episodes dropped. Uh, I guess the stars would be, I guess, Johnny Knoxville, Paul Reiser, um, Judy Greer. Paul it's, Reiser's been a lot lately. Paul Reiser has uh, had quite a resurrection, yeah. I guess, lately. Um, but uh, it's about a show, uh, a TV show that was on, I guess, 20 some years ago. And it's over now, but they want to bring it back and they bring it back. And uh, the girl that's bringing it back is the daughter of the guy whose original show it was, Paul Reiser's show, back in the tw- 20 years earlier. And it's just. Yeah, craziness of like the craziness that they had back from twenty years ago, and a new craziness now. Is it a comedy? Of, it's a comedy. Yeah, Keegan Michael Key's in it. Oh, from, uh, I was Key waiting for you. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't yeah, remember the other yeah, guy. I was, I was like, trying to think of his name. Guy. I couldn't but think of his name. Funny. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So Andy's it's like, watched it as well. I, I watched it. I watched the first three episodes on Hulu last night, and it's funny because it's one of the, when they what, the the old show's called Step on Up or something. Step right up. Step right up. And I was like, is this a real show? Like because they did one of the, it looked like an eighties yeah. kind of show, but then you 80s, realize 90s you feel, immediately yeah. realize that Johnny Knoxville has hair dye in his hair, and <laughs> Keegan Michael Key has an afro on, and you're like, oh wait, that's not how these guys look right now. Yeah, so. it, it, it's silly, it's funny, and you got to see Judy Greer's boobs. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was actually shocked. I was actually kind of like. Come on. I was surprised that you're she the showed mom it. in Ant Man and you're the mom in Jurassic World and you're probably the mom in a bunch of other things and you're showing boobs. I'm like, I don't know. You shouldn't probably be doing that. And but they were nice. <laughs> they were fine. They were fine. <laughs> I can't believe that. I love Judy Greer. Now you have a reason to watch uh, the reboot on yeah. Hulu. Kevin, what are you watching up there north of the border? Right, I'm going to. 
for the sake of, uh, of patriotism, I'm going to throw a Canadian show out there that is available <laughs> on Hulu called Letter Kenny. I have watched uh, every season and I'm waiting for the new season to start. It is about basically life in a small Ontario town, a rural t- community in Ontario, and the interactions between the, the groups there, which originally just sort of pans out to being the hicks, the skids, <laughs> and the hockey players. Nice. Is it a comedy? And, comedy? Is it, it animated? Is absolutely, yeah, comedy. And uh, it, it, you, it will, you will very quickly develop an entirely new form of slang from watching it. <laughs> and it is, it is not dissimilar from the slang I remember from guys growing up in those communities grow. So you're talking, you're talking Canadian slang then, right? Like oh, very okay. much so. good. I yeah. always need, cause I can't just say hoser and you know, a boot all the time. I need to like update my, uh, is Canadian hoser, catalog. is that a thing? Do they really, I don't do, you, know. do you say that? I up there? This, will very, this will update you. There'll be you know, a lot of stuff about, uh, a lot of stuff, farming and uh, hockey related stuff. Is it Excellent. animated? Or is it a? They do have an animated one, though, don't they? It's live action. Short lived animated one for kids, yeah. (laughs) For kids. Now, (laughs) are you a hick, a skid, or a hockey player? Definitely not a hockey player. Uh, <laughs> probably a skid. Yeah. I think we're all skids. Yeah. Are you a hockey yeah. fan? So though, or you, you watched a- this, right, Brian? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great show. Well, the, the skids in a in a small Ontario town are the guys who rent out the local ag hall to do uh, you know to do ecstasy. Nice. <laughs> I think we know where we fall. Now. Are you are you a hockey fan though? Is oh, that yeah, it, it's fan. required? You're, yeah. You know, you're kicked out of the country for that. Maple, maple Leafs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm a Devils fan. I have, Leafs. Actually, you can't see it right here. I have New Jersey Devil banners hanging right here from their Stanley no, Cup I've seen appearances. It on Instagram for sure. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot we're I forgot oh, yeah, online. I should they take do a that picture nowadays. for Instagram. Let me get a picture. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to take a picture with Kevin yeah, in it. Mean, yeah. Oh, smile. Jeez. On my iPhone 14. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Ooh, it's fancy. Do they have those in Canada yet? <laughs> uh, they have them. I don't. <laughs> See, he he's like me. Android all the way. Android. Oh wow, yeah. gross. Samsung. Yeah. Scared of the Chinese Communist Party. Things like that. <laughs> I embrace them all. Um, I didn't really. I embrace s- only overlords. I watched a, I watched a, a movie last night on Amazon Prime. Uh, oh. Yeah, new Ridley Scott movie actually. Really? Oh. Yeah. What's this? House of Gucci. Oh, oh, yeah. That was the that lady, was a really Scott joint. Yeah, I mean, the lady, that. yeah, Lady Gaga, um, okay. Jared Leto, uh, and quite and a few other people that are just escaping my memory right now. But is, um, is Lady Gaga Dan- Donatella Versace? It's she, Gucci. Oh, Gucci. Why do I think you said? I don't know. They're all the same to me. All those people are the same to me. She plays Patrizza. So is, no, that, is that yeah. a Gucci person? Yeah, she marries Maurizio uh, Gucci. <laughs> so, yeah, she's a Reggiani. Actually. You can tell how much yeah. I know about any of the fashion industry. These people assume, like, so Michelle has never gotten a, a fashion bag from you. <laughs> Not for me. If she wants one, she can go get one. I wouldn't know how to even go about purchasing one. With Michelle, an upside down I bought her. I bought her a Gucci in the city one time. I was like in like right by the train station, and I bought her a Gucci handbag, and she said, you have to turn, and it's not good. I'm like, all right. Whatever. If you look at it in a certain light, it really looks like a Gucci. In fact, in New York, More they, like se- a Gucci. they sell you the, uh, the handbags without the thing on there. The, the, the name stitched on there. They put it in the bag. You have to stitch it on yourself because I guess that's the way they get away with oh, selling bootlegs out in the open and stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so not interesting. Anyway, House of Gucci. House of Gucci was fun if, you, if you're in the mood for that kind of movie. I mean, it tells a story that you could read right on the internet if you want in, in, a, in a couple paragraphs or a two and a half hour movie. It's up to you. I had fun. So Gucci. <clears throat> What's their scandal? Like, I know Versace got murdered. It's just, That's it was mostly got... scandalous uh, amongst the family and oh, just okay. like uh, the brothers not getting along with each other. And then, oh, uh, Pacino's in it. People are coming to me now that are in it. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, it was fun. And uh, there's uh, it tells the whole story from basically early, uh, late 60s through the 90s. So, Excellent. yeah. It's decent. I, I, rec- I recommend it. Great in it. So, uh, yeah, she was really good in it. Um, Jarrett Leto has the worst Italian accent <laughs> I've ever heard. 
And I don't, so I don't, I don't know what Italian, he was going for there, but it was he, not. He's the worst Italian and worst Joker, so he's got all that going for him. <laughs> but he's in a shitty band, so. <laughs> I tell you what, though, they love him, don't they? Hollywood loves him. He was good in Dallas Buyers Club. I'll give him that. He was very oh, good yeah, in he that. Did win that was an Oscar. Good he was good in that. He did win an Oscar for that. Um, I I didn't watch much else this week except Jason and I went to go see Louis C.K. Oh, yes, that's we right. did. On Wednesday night at the New Jersey State Theater. Terrible seats. Not where we sat, oh, yeah. just terrible seats. These are made for small 1930s sized people. <laughs> and when you stick a like bunch Broadway. of. And when you Exactly. And when you stick a bunch of 2022 New Jersey people in but these even, seats. But <laughs> even that, it was just like. If you were over five foot five, yeah. you, you, your knees were hitting the that next seat. day. We got to work, and I was like, "My knee, my th- this hurts. Why? Oh, it's from th- we were from talking this, about it's the digging, spot from where you leaned up digging against into the, the chair, chair in front of the, of the chair. Yeah, metal, anyway. probably." Anyway, Louis C.K., great comedian, public masturbator. He he was very funny. Uh, we've seen him a couple other times. Yes. This is probably not his best time we saw him, but but he was on. He, he, he was great. He was, was very really good. He, yeah. It's fun to see him again. I've always been a big fan of his, and I'm glad that he's out touring again after his free uh, Louis C.K. shaming. <laughs> what else you got, Brian? Anything? Yeah, I'm did going you, to. Did honor... you finally remember what you were going to bring up before? Well, no, I'm going to honor uh, Kevin here with my favorite Canadian show, Strange Brew. <laughs> no, no, no it's a TV show, SCTV. <laughs> well, I do love SCTV, but a uh, corner gas. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Even Kevin says <laughs> I love I love the dad Oscar. This is something I don't know. Is this new? Old? Andy, oh no, this is old. Andy, this oh, is Canadian. This is, yeah, whatever no, it is, it's been off the air. Kevin obviously thinks the same way we think about Brian with his TV. <laughs> it also had it also had an animated version. No, that's it did, not, yeah. That's something I never watched. <laughs> oh my god, the father on that show was he was absolutely insane. I love that show. <laughs> I don't. I've never even heard of that. Isn't is Degrassi? Is that Canadian? That's De, that's Canadian, right? That's De, Canadian. Degrassi. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I watched the. Uh, I remember watching a season I've, or two I've of seen, that. I've yeah. seen that. I'm not trying to bring. No, up not, every- I mentioned this. I went to a Toronto school in high school that had a lot of uh, artsy people, and by artsy I mean actors. So like half the cast of the original Degrassi were classmates of mine. Oh that's wow, yeah. that's very cool. I, I have I have a, a show for you. How about you can't do that on television? <laughs> oh. Now that one I watched. That one was that great. show. I love that, that was show. A great show. Yes, Nickelodeon. That's where the slime came yeah, that's, from. Yep. That's that was where my the slime came Yep. From. That was my introduction to Nickelodeon. Yeah. 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 Love that show. I still. But love I guess that was on. Got slimed on that. But yeah. that was on something on ca- Canadian TV yeah, before, places. right? Yeah. yeah. It started yeah. in Canada. Right? Yeah. It's all yeah. it's all Canadian actors. Actually, I, like I, every sci-fi. It's it's because of Atlantis. That's why it's Canadian. Every sci-fi what show? Every sci-fi. TV show on Sci-Fi. It's there. It's like all ca- fr- filmed oh, in Canada on, on the can- and Canadian actors on the Canadian network. Yeah, like I mean, Battlestar Galactica. It's that's like half of them are Canadians. Oh, that's probably why I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a great tax break system for for, for Hollywood productions. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. It, like everything's filmed in Vancouver. In Vancouver right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's right. That's why. Well, it's funny because we were actually talking. Logan is interested in doing like film and stuff like that, and apparently New Jersey is starting to do that now. Like Georgia, like everything's filmed in Georgia now. Whenever, whenever you see like the end of a Marvel movie, it says like filmed in Georgia. I'm like, really? See the peach? That was like Slovakia. Like, how do you do that? But uh, (laughs) they always had the peach at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Jersey. In fact, you know what's funny? Uh, Archer had that at the end of it. I'm like, it's a cartoon. (laughs) They weren't filming this anywhere. (laughs) That's because I think comedy. They, 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 they filmed their voices. <laughs> they recorded their voices in Atlanta. Maybe, maybe. but um, lo- we were looking in New Jersey's, like bringing in like four movie production studios or something like that, and offering them like huge tax breaks nice. to come. Because you know, if you need a skyline of New York in the background, that, that'll be while good, having though. a bunch of shit yeah. in front of you. That's perfect. Film in New Jersey, a lot of jobs. That'd, that'd be good. Yeah. So anyway, we were looking at like things that Logan schooling for Logan so that he could do that. Yes, sir. I'm all done. You're all done. That's all you had? I got oh, a... oh, I have a movie. Well, actually, uh, it's Kevin's. Yeah, go ahead, Kevin. You got anything uh, else? I was just catching up the last couple of days on the new season oh. of uh, Star Trek Lower Decks. Oh, my God. I love that Is that show. the cartoon one? That yeah, one. that's okay. the animated one. I-, I watched a couple of those. That was fun. Yeah. 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 You're, are you one. on season three? Se- oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Just caught up to everything. <laughs> I thought it was one season. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> It's phenomenal. What's wild is they're saying that whatever is going on in the animated show is canon. Yeah. For now, the real show. But that so, doesn't really. 
That's not so that means that at some point these animated characters they could like cast live actors <laughs> to play them and they would, and they would show up in the real Star Trek or reference their ship or and stuff like that. Now yeah. is, this is is this like Captain Kirk timeline like the time of Captain Kirk or is after, it after. it's after him yeah. okay but it before... seems to be like really be in the future because at one point they showed like Borg members of the Federation oh okay <laughs> all right <laughs> and Huey from the boys is like the main character. Like he's really yes, he's the, the he's character. like the I remember I've seen the first like three or four episodes, so I do remember was that Jack uh, Quaid? Yeah, yeah, Jack he's Quaid, like yeah. in the credits. Yeah, cool. Um, I I got I got something lame to recommend. Not lame, but I watched wild. a documentary today. I, I I I'm reading a book. Andy Weir's new book, Project Hail Mary. He's the guy that wrote The Martian. Love the book. Love the movie. This book. Read this book. Project Hail Mary. That's it. What's it about? What's a hail mary? There is a there is a extraterrestrial algae uh eating the sunlight, so it's not getting to Earth. They're like based around Venus, and so it's like that. They're trying to figure out why the Earth is or why the sun is dimming. I have a problem with that. Yeah. Venus like could be anywhere it could not be. in line with Earth. Well, yeah, yeah. They find them around Venus. They're everywhere around the oh, sun. Okay. They they orbit the sun, oh, but they found okay. them around Venus. So we sent a probe around Venus and picked up this life form and I said probe. <laughs> I said probe. I watched the documentary today. You tell me I'll tell you the name of it. You tell me who it's about. Oh. Feeling Nolan. Feeling Nolan, N O N O Facing Nolan, Facing Nolan, N O L A N Nolan, Nolan. N O L A N Facing Nolan, Facing Nolan. Isn't there a picture? That's is it Nolan Ryan? It is Nolan Ryan. God damn it, man! How'd you get another baseball (laughs) thing? Ventura, then. Could be all about Ventura getting his. Robin Ventura was. He declined to be interviewed for this uh, documentary. <laughs> he knew they only wanted to talk about one thing. They show it. Hey, they... Remember when a forty-two-year-old guy kicked your twenty-eight-year-old ass? <laughs> facing Ryan. Face, so is facing the, Nolan. Facing yeah. Nolan. So it's the is it the it's on uh, career Netflix. of Nolan Ryan. Yeah, it's he's in it. He did. It's he's a he's a part of the documentary. Excellent. Yeah, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But I can't. I was. I was not That's expecting the second Brian time he's gotten a baseball that. reference, and I have it. Yeah, I'm good. I saw Nolan Ryan pitch a couple times. I saw him pitch with the Astros, and I saw him pitch with the Rangers. Nice. Rangers, Tigers in Detroit, and Astros, Phillies in Philly. Can you tell me oh my God. who was Nolan Ryan's 5,000th strikeout? Who was? Who yeah. struck out oh. to make it Nolan Ryan's 5,000th strikeout? Should I know this? You, sh- it, I mean, you know, a- you know the guy's name, yeah. Kevin, you a baseball fan at all? Any idea? I saw, I saw Nolan pitch against the Expos. Nice, the Expos. <laughs> way, way back when. But if I, I if I told you, this, so. if I told you it was against the uh, Oakland A's, Oakland A's, Jose Canseco. No, but he did strike him out a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> was it? Uh, <laughs> Pick the guy who struck out a lot. Mark McGuire. <laughs> no. Ricky hmm. Henderson. Wow, nice. Ricky Henderson. Former, who pro- he probably Former never struck out. Known and and For, funny thing is, <laughs> before the before the game, before the game, Nolan Ryan said, "I'm either going to strike out Jose Canseco or Ricky Henderson for my That's five thousandth awesome. strikeout." Wow. And Ricky Henderson was not a strikeout guy. He was no, he was a, yeah, guy, he was a so leadoff he, guy. He had a lot of hits. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, Pete, I don't have any. Pete Rose is in the documentary too, so that was cool. Pete Rose, as an interview. Yeah. Well, I oh. saw Pete Rose against Nolan Ryan. Pitching against Steve Carlton in Philadelphia. Why when, do you keep pointing at when? Uh, uh, point at Kevin. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Kevin's over there. That's a long point. When uh, <laughs> Pete Rose t- broke the all-time National League hit lead over uh, Stan Musial. Was this at Veterans? It, veterans in 1981. Nice. It was the day before the baseball strike of 1981. Because then wow. the next day they just said, we're not playing for the next hundred days and they said you can find the exciting a new podcast on twitter instagram (laughs) facebook (laughs) spreaker (laughs) all those crazy places everywhere you get your podcast i drank so much i missed the whole podcast (laughs) (laughs) that was good that the good part starts now you can find me jazoo 74 on twitter the jazoo on instagram i'm jason A.E. Gonzo 1 on Twitter, A.E. Gonzo 1970 on Instagram. Or that's backwards yes, the other you way. Right. You had it right. Okay. And I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. Papa Bad Kitty. Kevin, you want to promote anything? I'm Kevin from Parts Unknown. 
<laughs> I guess you leave it like that. <laughs>